Hey, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're doing Pesach Shabbos, Periket, Mishnayas, Gimel, and Dalit. Mishnah Gimel says, Minayin the Palette is Sheikh Lazar Abiyah Mashlishi Shit a woman, right? After she's together with a man. So a lot of times the Zara that the man inserted into her when they were together uh, will come out, will flow out of her vagina, will flow out for, you know, three days or more. So if the third day after they were together, it comes out. She's still called Smeya because Sheikh Zerah has the ability to um, to impregnate a woman for three days after, right? Three days before you freeze it, I guess. So, um, so if on the third day it comes out, she it makes her Smeya. But Sheikh Zerah is something which is Tame. If it's not royal or holy, if it's not going to be able to impregnate a woman, so then it's considered nothing. How do you know this is the halacha? Because we know by Har Sinai, they had to separate from their wives for three days. Why? Because they're concerned they were together with their wives within three days. On the third day, which is Matan Torah, their wives would be polite at Sheikh Zerah and make their wives to me, and they wouldn't be able to Kabbalah Torah. Now, the Mepharshim point out this is the opinion of Elizabeth and Azaria. We pass in the Rabbanon that actually um, on the third day, um, it's actually Tohor. It's only uh, meaning. On the third day, it's Tame, but for three days later, the fourth day, that's when it's Tame. Not like Rosh Hashanah says, even on the even on the fourth day, it's going to be Tame. Uh, and we learned from Matan Torah that they actually separate only really only two days, and on the third day they got the, the Matan Torah. Um, how do you know that you even heat up water on Shabbos? You vile the malach on Shabbos in order to wash the malachal mila after the bris mila on the third day. Let's say the bris mila is on a Thursday. And we learn bris mila is even very painful until the third day. Of course, if it was a bris mila on Friday or certainly on Shabbos, you can do any malacha. Because again, these are pulling the getter of pikuach nefesh. When they used to throw the sir mishaleah, sir lazazel, off the cliff on Yom Kippur, right? They would tie a string of red, a scarlet string. Um, they would attach half to the horns and half to a rock over there. When they pushed the seer, the goat, over uh, the cliff, right, it had half of the string was on its horns and half was on the rock. So if the half on the rock became white, so it was a simon that Hashem accepted their tshuva. That's why the Pasuk says, if you're chatechem kashonim, if they're red, like shoni, like red, kashal galbinu, Hashem will accept your tshuva and they'll turn into white like snow. How do you know Yom Kippur? Sicha, which is to anoint yourself. You're not exactly what anoint, we'll talk about it in a second. It's like drinking. You know, it's not a clear proof. There is some remembrance from the Torah. It says in Tehillim, it went like water in his stomach in his, uh, and like oil in his bones. I mean, the water got absorbed into his stomach and oil got absorbed into his bones. So therefore, sicha, just like shtia, you can't drink on Yom Kippur. That's explicit in the Torah, achila and shtia. Um, I don't know if it says shtia, but shtia is b'chal achila, like Mara says. So you have of courage for that if you do on Yom Kippur, starting in shir. Sicha, if you anoint yourself, that's one of the five things you know how to do on Yom Kippur. Rechitza, sicha, uh, nila sasan, altash, shamita, and achila and shtia. So those are the five things you can't do on Yom Kippur. So the, the, the Mishnah brings a proof over here that sicha, is like Shtia. Now, Allah is a Shtia, you're Chayab Kari. Sicha, you're not Chayab Kari. It's Machlokas and Rishonim, whether it's the Raisa or the Rabbanan, if you anoint yourself. You know, some people say anointing yourself is to smear yourself with oil. Some say it's putting on cologne. Some say it's washing your hands with hand soap. We'll talk more about that in a second. But anyway, the proof over here is not a direct proof because Shtia is Kari. And Sicha is similar, but it's only a Lav, the Raisa or the Rabbanan. I'm going to discuss this more. And Ian Mitzion, what exactly the Mishnah is telling us, Ian Mitzion, coming up next.